Thank you, and welcome back. It's a pleasure to be back on the MTech Singapore stage again this year. And I hoped you enjoyed the morning as much as I did. A lot of new ideas and that really expanded my horizons. And now we're going to continue that. And we're moving on to one of my favorite parts of MTech, the innovators under 35. Since 1999, MIT Technology Review has been hosting the global innovators under 35 in Cambridge. Every year, we identify the rising stars who are really dedicating their careers to solving big global challenges. A few years ago, we decided to expand upon the global edition to make sure we were getting, covering regions all around the world. So we developed regional editions of the innovators under 35. And now we've got 20 regions all around the world. Last year, we were thrilled to launch in this region, the Asia Pacific, with our first competition in Singapore. And now we're going to hear from the second edition of the Asia Pacific Innovators Under 35. They've prepared three-minute talks, and they're going to share with you the details of the work and really why it matters. Now, I want you to know that these are speed rounds. We hold them to three minutes. We're very strict about that. And if they go over, the lights will go down and the sound will go off. Exactly. So the first of the honorees is Ben T. He is a Biodesign Global Innovation Fellow at Stanford University and ASTAR. So welcome, Ben, to the stage. is truly remarkable. It is the first sense organ to develop in utero and not only protects you from the environment, but also provide you with your sense of tactile reality. The data from your skin is so important that if you lose the sense of touch right now, you will effectively become paralyzed, even though all your muscles are functioning properly. In order to provide you with the tactile feedback required to perform your daily activities, the human skin possesses three important capabilities. It is highly sensitive, inherently stretchable, and perhaps most importantly, self-healing, lasting you a lifetime. Using a multidisciplinary approach combining, combining materials and electromechanical engineering, I've created electronic skins that have these three capabilities. Such e-skins could be used in many applications from health robotics to healthcare. For example, in my research, I've created a highly sensitive and flexible electronic skin that can be packaged into wearable form factors like a smart band-aid. When we place the band-aid on the radial artery near the wrist, we were able to detect minute pulsations of your radial artery. And this data is so high resolu resolution that the physician can actually use it to tell you something about the health of your arteries and perhaps recommend treatments. Besides high sensitivity, the, elect the human skin is also stretchable. And to create a stretchable electronic skin, naturally, we need stretchable electrodes. Using a very simple process to create nano springs out of carbon nanotubes, we were able to create very stretchable, transparent thin film electrodes that can stretch to twice its length and maintain its conductivity. Such electrodes can be useful in future flexible and stretchable screens. Finally, by mimicking how biological molecules like DNA assemble themselves, we created the world's first self-healing electronic skin. The skin is conductive, and amazingly, when we sever it and joint it back together gently, it heals rapidly, both electrically and mechanically, at room temperature within minutes. Using these technologies, we have created artificial skins that have human-like capabilities, but I believe we have only scratched the surface of possibilities. Beyond healthcare and consumer electronics, Con continued development in electronic skin technologies could bring applications in energy storage, for example. Using the self-healing concept, we have created longer-lasting, high-capacity batteries. As in today's talk, these e-skins could be very useful in immersive virtual reality worlds and even space exploration. My name is Benjamin T, and I'm a Singapore Stanford Biodesign Global Innovation Fellow, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank MTech, the organizers, as well as MIT Tech Review. Thank you very much.